Acme asks, to me $4.20 and asks, do I ever get giant boils on my ass from sitting around all the time? Yes, in fact, I'm glad you asked me this question. See, people ask me, why do I rock back and forth sometimes when I'm on pre-stream? It's because I actually don't have ass cheeks. I have two giant swollen boils that I bounce around on as I sit here and play a game. So I have to balance and rock back and forth because if I don't, I put too much pressure on a boil, it could explode and launch me off the couch onto the floor. So I have to constantly be rocking back and forth like this in order to fucking, you know, keep the adjustment on the boils on my ass. So thanks for asking. All right, I don't know what anyone's talking about. No one's really talking to me right now. All right, everyone, so FYI, I just finished recording my first hour of Animal Crossing. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you guys are too. Just to forewarn everyone, I say this every time this happens. We got one hour left tonight. We are a very far away from hitting the tips goal. All right, that's fine. We don't need to hit the tips goal. No pressure. So I tell you guys, like, I every day think that the tips goal may actually end. And maybe tonight is the night that it's going to end. Okay, but if you want to see the tips goal continue, you want to see us keep the street going, you know, you got a tip tonight. Okay, but it's okay if you don't. No pressure. If okay, thanks for the $5, stupid. First of all, I don't appeal to my fans to buy much for me at all. Oh, it's an Asian, buddy. Take him out. So turn me on. That's what you're doing. It's weird because, like, some people still to this day think, like, being gay is so taboo. It's like, what are you talking about? It's been, like, so... It's actually been accepted for quite some time. It's just... I feel it's like these pockets of, like, very conservative-thinking people who think that it's like, oh, my God, it's such an awful thing to be gay. Like, in my life, I've known many gay people, including my own, my own aunt, my whole life. I never had a problem with it. Never did I give a shit, you know? Yes, that was my aunt who had gout. That is correct. Ha, ha, ha! Thanks for the money before you go. Junior made it on a bit chasing with your parents. Disown you if you were gay. I don't think so. No. My my aunt was gay. My aunt was gay her whole life, so I'm pretty sure that my parents would not disown me. <laughs> ha ha ha, thanks for the money. I lifted weights. That's different. I never lived the lifestyle of a bodybuilder. Ate lean and, and lots of protein. and You know what I mean? I never was like that. I worked out a lot. For about, I'd say about a year to a year and a half, I worked out quite a lot. But then I cut it all out. <laughs> Do you ever get nervous talking to a woman? No. I am nervous talking to anyone on this planet. I'm a failure because I've never kissed a girl. Remember, your contributions are, are mandatory and always will be mandatory. Wait! Contributions are not mandatory and never will be mandatory. <laughs> well, now I've done it. Now I've done it. That's it. I've done it. That's it. It's over. You got me. I completely misspoke. You got me badly. That's it. I've never lived that one down. I will never live that one down. You'll always be playing that one endlessly on the stream from now on. You know someone got that one. You know that. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. That was pretty good. Oops. Contribute right now, man. In fact, on Tuesday when I go out with my wife, I'm going to spend your money. And I'm going to laugh at when I'm doing it. I'm going to say, that was that asshole's money. Will, in general is a term that generally means someone who contributes a lot to anything. It could mean you contribute a lot to a content creator, you contribute a lot to a cause, you contribute a lot to a game. Yeah, detractors would say, oh, contributing to Phil on his streams, you're a whale. This vest is now a symbol of all of us who never give up, who basically say no matter what gets thrown against us in life, we're gonna persevere through it, we're going to say fuck you to the haters and we're going to be successful no matter what. That's what this has become. That every day now, it's another win against those shitheads who every day tell us we can't do something, we're not good enough, we're just scum. For what? What do we do? 
that we deserve that. Nothing. But this is what they are. They're just crazy people. And they will always try to tear you down. In life, there's always going to be people trying to tear you down. And this vest has become a, a, a ridiculous. I know it's as stupid as it sounds, as crazy as it sounds, but that's what it is. This is a symbol of persevering through all kinds of adversity, through all kinds of challenges. In a way, <clears throat> being able to, 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 to do this symbol, to have this symbol stand for something is, is pretty cool and motivating. That like, damn, you know, I've done this for 12 years and finally there's something that's come up that the people thought of and now they're supporting it constantly. It's just crazy, you know, but it's super positive, you know, and I love it. I look like Porky Pig. I look like a complete fucking idiot. I mean, seriously, I look so stupid. I look like a complete embarrassed idiot right now. Holy crap, some people are just beyond stupid. I don't know what else to say. The king of lag. Oh man, I'm doing it. I'm getting that chill vibe back again. I'm getting that vibe back from 2017. Like, how could you support that? How? That's like, it melts my brain to think that there's people on this planet who like that and would watch that and would support that and would throw money at that. You know? I know this, street, this fucking vest looks stupid. I don't care. If people like it, they like it. And if people are going to be supportive, people are going to be supportive for it. You know what I'm saying? Send a tweet. Send a tweet out now. Years. Years of systematic abuse against people and making a living doing it. You know what I mean? We're up to $18 in tips tonight. With one hour left to go, we are a far cry from hitting the tips goal and continuing the vest streak tonight. I'm just being very factual. I'm letting guys, people know what's going on. If we don't hit the tips goal tonight, I'm okay with that. I will repeat that. I'm okay with that. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> completely false. Completely incorrect. Chief Seattle did a 50-bit cheer tonight and says, I saw a clue of you saying that you, I love Hulk Hogan's dick. That was clearly taken out of context. Do you remember the context behind why you said it? Just curious. Yeah, because Hulk Hogan has a ginormous schlong. It's just like hugely massive. And he swings that shit around and like, you know, you got to admire the girth. What do you think? See the God asks, what do I think about husbands being cucks? Oh, I'm all for it. Cuck life, 100%. Live the life of the cuck. Why not, right? I actually sit on Kiwi Farms all day long, every day, reading every single post um, in the 40,000 threads that they have over there on me. It's called, I'm, I'm lazy. I don't actually want to analyze anything. I just want to be told how to think by a group and always agree with that group. Things I talk with you guys about on a stream is 100% real me. It's never going to be fake. It's never going to be manufactured film, me playing a character. That's what that means when I, I always said I was the realest guy on the internet. But, you know, when you watch a stream, you get the real me, not an act. You get my real opinions, my real takes, my live criticism and commentary on what I'm doing. You're never going to get something that's sugar-coated. You don't get a paid advertisement. That's what that's always meant when I said that, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I have not played any major mobile game in over two years, okay? Truth, right now, I have not played any mobile game in any major way in over two years, including this fucking WWE game that these idiots keep bringing up. Pig-headed, stubborn asshole. Yeah, there you go. The un we call it the f unkillable fill vest. When you put on the vest, I have natural luck increase and I just dodge all attacks. Everyone tries to insult me and hit me and hate on me. I dodge, 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 dodge. I'm unkillable. <laughs> there you go. Every move is a dodge. Dodge, dodge. There you go. The reason I really like this is because it's minimal effort, raising money every once in a while. There's no, no stress. I don't want stress. I don't want pressure. I just want to relax when I play a game. He's so ungrateful. So I guess for a very, 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 very short period of time, I was a woman, and then I became a man.
Oh, I grabbed my ass? Yeah, I grabbed my ass because my pajama pants were stuck to my ass. So when I stood up, I pulled the wedgie out of my ass. Is there a problem with that? Humans don't do that. They let wedgies go right up their ass. Is that what they do? They let their underpants suck up into their buttholes and they walk around like that all day? Okay. Anyway, I'm well aware I'm the internet punching bag. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. That's my existence, I guess. Maybe one day this will change. Maybe one day something will happen and attitudes will flip. 